peace and welcome. Today we will be talking about another screen, but this isn't the Wilhelm screen. It's not that popular, but it has been used quite a few times, from movies to cartoons and of course video games. This is behind the bleeps and bloops of the Howie screen. The Howie Scream is the nickname of a scream that originates from a sampler CD by Hollywood Edge. It comes from their premiere edition, there are 10 volumes as of now and they cost anywhere from $400 to $500 a piece. Or you can buy 1 through 7 for a cool $2,000, and volumes 8 through 10 for another thousand. The original placeholder name of the Scream was Scream 3 gut-wrenching scream and fall into distance. It's also known as the TIE Fighter Scream for its similarity to the sound of TIE Fighters from the original Star Wars movie, A New Hope. Its first popular use comes from the 1980 movie, Ninth Configuration. Ninth Configuration was directed by William Peter Blatty, and it's based on the 1978 novel of the same name, which was an adaption of Twinkle Twinkle Killer Kane from 1966, which was also written by Mr. Blatty. This is the first movie he ever directed, and he may be best known for writing The Exorcist in 1971. The nickname of the Howie Scream comes from Howie Long's death scene in the 1996 movie Broken Arrow an American action film directed by John Woo and starring John Travolta. And yes, that is the same Howie Long that played in the NFL in which his career ended up in the Hall of Fame. Now you can find him covering the NFL every Sunday as a member of the Fox Sports team. And in one of my favorite times that the Howie Scream was used comes from the 1987 movie The Princess Bride. In a scene when Wesley was being tortured and Inigo coined it the sound of ultimate suffering. And so I think no man in a century will suffer as greatly as you will. Not to 50! <laughs> Fezzik, Fezzik, listen. Do you hear? That is the sound of ultimate suffering. So I'm not going to go through all of the movies that have it. I just wanted to establish the history and show where it came from a bit, plus how it got its names, and of course, my favorite time it was used. Now, as always, let's focus on the video game side of the story. The first game I can confirm the Howie Scream in comes from an unlikely source. While the English version of the intro has dialogue, this version was released on February 23rd of 1995. Beast who sent savage armies over the land. Necros, master of war, who incited all man to rage eternal. In 1994, on the Sega CD, Pop for Mail was released in Japan, but you cannot find it in this version. The intro has no voices and is subtitled. Five days after the release of Pop for Mail in North America is the second known use of the Howie, and this is the game that usually gets the credit for being the first to have it, but it's at least the second. Here is the Star Wars game, Dark Forces. Yeah! 
port of Dark Forces on the PS1 also features the Howie screen, but this was released a year later in 1996. So it's confirmed that Dark Forces was not the first. The next set of games that I can find this on all come from the PS1. First up, we have Crash Bandicoot. Released on September 9th of 1996, this is a fun platforming game. And when you come across the mad scientist in the lab, you can hear the Howie. While on the subject of Crash, it not only was in Part 1, but it was also in Part 2. Just in case you are curious, it has been removed from the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Next up is Perfect Weapon, one of the most disappointing games on the PlayStation 1. I remember buying this game and hating it. Released on November 21st of 1996, it does have the Howie. As you walk through the level kicking and punching, as best as you can, you will see a guy let out a scream. And here it is. <laughs> Up next, we have Breath of Fire 3. During the fight with Miria, when she uses her Venom attack, you will hear a Howie scream. Now this one was sampled and played at about half speed, so if you double the speed on the Breath of Fire 3 sample, you will hear it a little more clearly. Sticking along the lines of a boss fight, the next game is Judge Dredd. Released in Europe in November of 1997 and North America in March of 1998, after you beat the final boss, you will be met with an FMV cutscene. Let him go. You die. But do that. One thing you may save is a trace of the dignity that once made you a judge. What do you say, Dredd? Two for the price of one! Now the final one that I want to explain comes from Half-Life 2. The Poison Head Crab uses the Howie screen, just sped up. So here is the Head Crab as heard in the game, and heard again, slowed down. So the rest of these are easier to pick up on, as they don't really require any editing for the most part. So we present to you a quick Howie Scream montage. for the fallen.
So if anyone knows any more games I missed, please comment with it and when I release the full montage video I will insert it with credits. And then we can try to make the montage cover as many games as possible. I will release it in a few months to give people time to watch the video and submit a possible Howie screen. Anyways from now until then, I am ICC, thanks for watching, peace.